Roger, Mercury, uh, you're looking good. Today's strange but true story is about the problem astronauts face when they spend a long time in a spacesuit. Houston, we have a problem. Uh, Roger, Mercury, this is Mission Control. What is the nature of your problem? I need to visit the little astronaut's room. Can you believe it? $25 million space budget and no one put a toilet in the capsule. Roger, Mercury, uh, we got our best brains are working on it right away. The first space flights only lasted about 15 minutes, so there was no need to put a toilet on board. But the launch of one of the early Mercury missions was delayed and astronaut Alan Shepard needed to go for a wee. Mission Control decided they had to let him go in his suit. Did you uh, hear that, Mercury? Uh, yeah. Thanks, Mission Control. The Apollo moon missions lasted over a week, but NASA was now onto the problem and they designed the ingenious UCD. Brilliant. Now I won't have to use this hot water bottle and hose. I'm uh, sorry, Apollo. That is the uh, UCD. UCD stands for Urine Collecting Device, and it was simply strapped to the astronaut's leg inside his spacesuit. Number one mission was successfully completed, but number two mission was a much bigger job. To try and prevent a number two mission, astronauts were given very small meals with no roughage in them. Is that it? When the astronauts did actually have to go, this is what they used. The sticky tape and the Ziploc were absolutely essential because of the problems of zero gravity. Great idea for when you're safe in your module, but what about on the surface of the moon? They used one of these, a specially developed giant nappy, essential equipment worn by every single one of NASA's brave moon explorers. The Eagle has landed. When Apollo 11's lunar module touched down on the moon, the giant nappies came in handy. The astronauts had been too busy working to worry about going to the loo. Buzz Aldrin was the second man to walk on the moon and he was the first to fill his pants. Today's shuttle missions can last anything up to two weeks. So now NASA has developed the space toilet. Yeah, tell me more Houston, tell me more. They can't use water to flush the space toilet. That would be too dangerous aboard the space shuttle. So instead, a fan sucks the material into a sealed compartment and later it's released into space. For hygiene reasons, each astronaut, both male and female, have to have their own special adapter. So if you ever wondered how astronauts managed to boldly go when no one had boldly gone before, now you know. Uh, Houston, we have a problem.